Welcome to Performance Upgrades. I'm your host, Dave Moss, and today's show is all about filth. Cleaning breaks, which is a, just a nightmare of a job, especially if you don't do it. And very few people take the time to go ahead and clean their brake calipers, let alone get really involved with making sure the pistons work properly so the braking forces are correct. And once we get done with that, we're also gonna show you how to change brake pads as well as part of that operation. Now, when we do this today, we're going to leave the front wheel on the bike, but a lot of people prefer to remove the front wheel so they've got more room to work with. But personally, I don't need to go through all that extra hard work for that. Now, again, what we show you today, as we say with every show, if you have a better way of doing it or you found ways that are easier to do this, by all means, email us at onthethrottle.tv with your suggestions. And after each show, we'll go ahead and post those for everybody to review. So we thank you in advance for that. So let's get on with the show. So let's just do a quick synopsis of brakes before we start. As you can see on the GSXR, we have radial brakes. Now in this instance, the casting co comes off the bottom here with two bolt receivers and the caliper fits this way. Now the bolts are in the same plane as the, ro as the rotor itself. So this is a radial setup. Now in something a little older, you'll find that the bolts come in perpendicular to the rotor in this direction. And that's much more of the old traditional way brakes were mounted. So in recognizing what this is, see what you have. Do your bolts sit in the same plane as the rotor or are they coming from 90 degrees to it? Because that's gonna be important when you're trying to take the caliper off. Okay, so what we've done is get everything ready. Um, for cleaning and disassembly. So we've got simple green in case the calipers are really bad. We've got soap and water for, with a toothbrush to clean around the pistons and lubricate the pistons with the soap. Um, we have a rag for wiping up. We've got our replacement brake, brake pads from Performance Friction. As we're going to the track, we want the best we can put on there. And then we've got the tools we need to disassemble the caliper. And of course, a bungee cord to hang the caliper up and support it as we did when we changed the front wheel. So, what do you do first? Well, the first thing you do before we get into anything else is go ahead and loosen the two pins here that hold the brake pads in place. Because without doing that, there's no way you can do it by hand because of the torque setting on these. Okay, so the Allen key fits in. And those are pretty well stressed and we just want to open it a couple of turns. And now we have the pins loose. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead, undo the bolts holding the caliper to the mount on the forks. So now we have the caliper off in our hand, what we need to do now is pull these two pins out, which will relieve this spring clip and the brake pads will fall out the bottom. So when you do this, obviously you don't want to rush, you've got to take your time. Just unscrew the pin until it comes loose. Remove the pin and go over to the second one. and remove that pin, turn the caliper over so the brake pads fall into your hand. So now during the disassembly phase, we've taken the pads out. So the first thing you do is look inside the caliper itself. Now this is obviously a fairly new bike, so it's pretty clean in here. What you're gonna be looking for is, is there any oil residue somewhere in here? If there is, stop. Take the bike to the dealer, have them replace the seals in the caliper. That's really not something you want to do at home. Once you're done inspecting, if you don't see any oil leaks anywhere, then you can go ahead and clean inside. Now here at the OTT shop, we prefer dishwashing soap like Dial and Water with a toothbrush. 
That gets everything clean and the soap will actually act as a lubricant on the seals behind the pistons. So that works for us. What we're going to do now is go ahead and clean this entire assembly. Once that's done, then we'll go ahead and reassemble everything. Now as part of this, once you're done with cleaning this, what we also recommend is that you either use an emery cloth or some kind of cleaning material on the rotors to scrub the rotors and get them nice and clean. You can also sandblast them, take them away and have them done properly. And when they come back, get some proper brake clean cleaner and wipe everything down because all the surfaces here, all of them have to be grease and oil free. So bear that in mind. Now that we've got the pads out, what we need to do is go ahead, push the pistons here back inside so we can get this spring clip out. So now we've got it all disassembled, I've gone ahead and pumped the brakes a little bit, leaving the other caliper in place so that those pads grip the rotor. That's allowed these pistons to push forward so we can clearly see from where the bike was ridden before, there's a big ring of dirt around each of the four pistons that we need to clean off. Now fortunately these are pretty clean, so there's no, really no need to go in there with simple green. What we need to do is go ahead and use a toothbrush, get in there and scrub it out. And the soap will act as a lubricant on the seal, so... So to make sure we don't get this all over the paint, we'll go ahead and use our cloth here, get the toothbrush nice and, nice and wet, and then just work your way around the piston gently taking all of that dirt off and we'll just show you one right now with just barely any scrubbing that line of dirt has come completely off the piston. So now why is this important to go ahead and clean these pistons like this? Well what you don't want are pistons coming onto the brake pad at different speeds or different rates because then you have differential brake pressure on the pad itself. That's bad because when you pull the lever, you want a linear feel. You don't want the pad to come in sideways and then the other piston to catch up. So it's really important that you clean these very regularly. If you've got a daily driver, you should be cleaning these once a month. Just with a toothbrush like this, which will take seconds if you do it regularly. So it's really important that you get even brake pad wear then because all four pist pistons push at the same rate on the pads and you get very good braking because of that. So now I'm going to clean all four pistons. Once, I'm clean, once these are clean, I'm going to push them back. We'll pump the brakes and show that they have to move evenly together. And some may need a little more scrubbing to make that happen. So I'll just clean these up real quick. Thank you, Mr. Garrison. So now that we've gone ahead, cleaned thoroughly with the toothbrush, got all the debris off the pistons, used the rag, wiped all the surfaces around, what we've done is push the pistons back. Now that is no mean feat, so when you try this, realize there's a ton of effort involved in pushing pistons backwards and forwards. Now Dave's on the other side of the bike, so what he's going to do now is pump the brake lever so we can see the pistons move. And what we're looking for is hopefully they all come out at the same rate. Beautiful. And stop. So now all four pistons are moving at the same time in a synchronized way. Now sometimes when you do this and you first clean them, because these are obviously pretty new pistons, there'll be grit and all kinds of stuff in there, a little pitted. And two will move and two will stay. So clean those two that move thoroughly and then you'll have to hold them in place. Once you hold them, then go ahead, pump the brake lever again, and the two that didn't move before will pop out. Clean those really thoroughly until you get to the point that all four pistons move at exactly the same rate. So now we're done with this, we're going to push the pistons back in again, and then we're going to show you how to rebuild this with the new performance friction pads.